So, Taylor, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a doctor. A doctor? Mm-hmm. Do you know what kind of doctor? Or you just want to be a doctor? I just want to be a doctor. Well, I was torn between being an actress or something with math. That's all I knew is I wanted to do something with math. I definitely wanted to be a scientist. So I took all the math classes I could take and keep the French major. But then eventually I gravitated towards chemistry, minor in biology. I was always the one who was good at math. My brother, not so much. He was not good at math. So they loved that I could do, I could do it. My college had only nine women in a class of 400 because I, it was an engineering college. Most of my classes in college were male dominated. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was the one girl in my computer programming recitation class. Mm -hmm. yeah. Older white men. Yeah, I, I can't even remember having one female teacher in chemistry, actually. So, no role models. So somehow they, there is this stereotype, they have this feeling that, oh, boys are more likely to do well in STEM. You may not realize, but these are implicit differences are actually there. If people realize that working harder would mean that they would perform well, people do work hard and they do perform well. On the other hand, if they feel that, oh no, it's, I'm not doing well because it's my ability, it's like a spiral that actually gets people down even further. So you can see that how those kinds of stereotypes are negatively impacting women. It's I'm anticipating the next question about the differences in, in my class mm -hmm. between boys and girls. Yeah. And the girls really, really want to be right before they say anything. Mm -hmm. And the boys are more willing to just say it. Mm -hmm. Boys tend to want to say the answer and want to get an answer quickly and just mm -hmm. shout out an answer and girls tend to ask more questions and get deeper understanding of that's the biggest contrast and not all girls and not all boys but in general lots of boys just want to get there and want to answer and want to show off how smart they are and other and the girls want to really understand it and ask a million questions which is good because that mm -hmm. kind of keeps the class moving. And girls are definitely feeling more capable um, <clears throat> in the sciences, whereas, you know, 15 years ago even, um, you know, boys were more likely to answer questions than girls. What, what advice would you give younger girls wanting to enter the STEM fields? Do your homework. Do your homework. <laughs> do your homework. Build your foundation right now in high school. I definitely feel that you must believe in yourself. Be more willing to just go for it. <laughs> Just don't get discouraged, you can do it. I mean, math is a language and you have to, um, you just have to kind of practice things to get good at them. Mm -hmm. So don't give up, find somebody to mentor you, find a study group because that's very important, especially for girls seeing to, to do things socially. Having good writing skills, good observation skills, um, and just mastering the fundamentals, you know. Mm -hmm basics. Believing in yourself and saying, yes, I'm going to do it and I, you know, I have fun doing it, you will get there. Being enthusiastic is more important than being right. Mm -hmm. And being open to thinking about what other people are saying. Yeah. yeah. That's the advantage of being wrong. <laughs> you put it out there and everybody can think about it and go from there. <laughs> when a girl speaks up, the world benefits. Don't ever let anyone tell you math and science are too hard because of who you are or where you came from. This is for all the girls who were told they weren't good enough. Because you are good enough. <laughs>